So this is something that I really need to address. This is something that's going to come up regardless if you are, you know, following this channel, if you live this alpha mentality mindset, if you have that and you're going or you're headed towards success, this is something that's bound to happen. So I had to address it uh, sooner or later. Might as well be now since it's fresh on my mind. And that's fucking haters. So number one thing, y'all, it's a natural thing. Having haters is a natural thing. We all hear the, the saying, if you ain't doing anything right, then you won't have haters. So if you got haters and you're doing something right, everybody knows this. But really the thing is with the people that the people that have a hard time accepting this are the people that really try to please everybody. You trying to fit in with everybody. And we're going to talk about uh, fake friends a little bit later. The reason why this is kind of fresh on my mind is because uh, one of the guys I actually hoop with, he just came up to me. I finished the set at the gym and he came up to me. He was like, bro, he said, MJ, bro, you need to watch your back, man. And I'm looking like, bro, what the fuck? What, what are you talking about, bro? Stop fucking with me. He's like, bro, for real, you need to watch your back, bro. You, you kind of big, man. And I was like, okay. He said, you kind of big, bro. You intimidate people, bro. So, so niggas is gonna try to sneak you, or niggas gonna try to jump you and shit. So, you know, I kind of just let that pass by. But uh, actually, later that day, I ended up, you know, getting a little altercation or whatever. Not anything physical, but you know, it was to the point where I had a group of people hating on me, and me myself. I have no problem with that because, you know, my whole life I've always been, you know, I'm not the type of person to go with the crowd. I'm set in my way. If this is what I want to do, I'm going to do this regardless of whoever else, you know, says this. He say, she say, I'm not with that bullshit. You know, I defend myself. I set up for myself regardless of whoever's against me. It doesn't matter. And, you know, most of the time, if it turns into some physical altercation, most of the time niggas trying to jump me. So, you know, obviously... I try to do better with it's always good to stay humble being humble and you getting bombarded with a bunch of haters and you defending yourself if if they take your points the wrong way or they see you in, in some kind of light that's cocky that's them okay so there's always going to be people regardless of however you act this is why I'm talking to the people that are trying to please everybody it's not going to work that's not how life goes you can't please everybody there are people out there that are just going to hate you for no reason. They don't even know you. They just hate on you. It is what it is. So you got to accept that. And the thing is, when you're dealing with these kind of situations, when you got haters in your ear, or you got people throwing negativity at you and just trying to get you, just trying to put you down for no apparent reason. Like they just, they just trying to put you down because they, they feel some type of way. So essentially you got two outcomes when dealing with haters or, you know, getting confronted by people that's just being negative towards you for no apparent reason. Either, number one, you're just gonna sit there and take it all in, take all the negativity and let it sit on you and affect your mood, affect your day, affect how you go about uh, doing your, or, or progressing or, and working on yourself. Number one, you're not gonna wanna do that. So that's, that's the no-no right there. Number two, and that's what you should be doing, is what I do, is, you know, kind of just sit back. Um, don't take it in, but like, you know, hear them out. Because everybody want to get their opinion out, even if they don't know what the fuck they talking about. <laughs> they want to get their opinion out. So, you know, let them talk or whatever. Let them get their point across and, you know, defend yourself. Or, part of step two, you could just walk away. And, and keep it moving. Either way, you're ignoring them. In this situation, you're not letting it sit on you. You're not letting, you know, that come and affect or get you off your center. You're not letting any of that negativity on your person because that's just gonna, you know, fuck up what you're doing. You're, it's gonna fuck up the reason why you have the haters in the first place. And, you know, essentially what that means is if you're even getting in these situations where you're discovering that, whoa, Niggas is just hating on me for no reason. You're doing something good. They're seeing something in you. Maybe they see, you know, some chicks that they like in the gym or, or at the workplace. And they looking at you and they're like, damn, well, this nigga always come in looking fresh. He always, it seemed like he got his shit together. And then they, they, they kind of reflect on themselves. 
and what might end up happening uh, when you ignore them or when you, you know, don't let them, don't pay them no never mind. When that happens, they, they might even try to take it a step further and project their own insecurities onto you. That's when it gets kind of sad. Overall, y'all, y'all should just really appreciate the fact that you have haters. Appreciate the fact that, okay, well, this person must see something great in me to the point where they want to bombard me with negativity. It doesn't matter, guys. You're on the right path. So keep that in mind. If these people are people that you were, thought were friends or whatever, those are fake friends. All right? Those are fake friends. Let me give you the definition of what a fake friend is. So if, if some, first off, if some shit goes down and they ain't there to help you or have your back, some serious shit, they ain't friends. They're, they're fake friends. If, they only want to hang out with you for convenient purposes. If you find yourself having to hold back, like hold back who you are because you're afraid that it's going to offend them or they might not like you as much or they might see you as cocky, they ain't your friend. I got plenty of groups of people that I hang out with, right? But I can, I know for certain there are a few groups of people that I hang out with that where I can just, you know, just be myself. Those are my friends. The people where that, that are like-minded. You need to find people that are like-minded like you that just they're on the same wavelength where to the point where you don't have to hold yourself back like you can act like yourself and they kind of re reciprocate that they they don't they don't like you know sit back and judge you like oh well damn why you had to say that well i ain't making money like you making right now or blah blah, blah. and they start hating on you even though you wasn't even trying to take it to that point it happens it is what it is so make sure you surround yourself with the people that's actually about you know, success about the same type of values, definitely alpha mentality speaking. So, cause, cause we're not trying to conform to somebody's mold. We're, we're our own person. We're not trying to fit in somewhere. It's not, no, this, I laugh at shit like that. Like if you're going to sit here and say, if you and a group of 10 niggas is going to sit here and try to surround me and start talking shit, I'm going to just sit here and laugh or I'll put on the face and just, okay. And I just keep the shit moving. It don't make a difference to me because at the end of the day, these niggas ain't putting money in my pocket. They getting me hoes? No, because I don't need help with that. Okay, then what's their value? There is none. They're not helping you in your professional career, what you want to get going for yourself, your health. They're actually bad for your health, so fuck them. All right, so to wrap that up real quick, you know, haters. It's a part of life when you're headed to, toward the path to success, when you're on your path that you know is right for you and you start seeing great things happen to you and come to you, they're just jealous or they have some type of animosity or they wish they were in your shoes. It's all synonymous. At the end of the day, appreciate them and don't let them get, get you off, you know, don't let them get you off center. Don't let them phase you. You should never, just like when a girl is giving you shit tests, and I know I might have females watching this video, so I'm, you know, vice versa. If a guy, you know, whatever, don't let them get you off center. Just like with shit tests, you pass them. Abundance mindset, a lot of people preach that it's good. It's because it works. Abundance mindset, y'all. So y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, check out the social media links in the description box. Patreon's up. Y'all make sure y'all watch y'all back out there. Fuck the haters. Deuce.